In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and manage your files on iPhone or iPad using Safari. Let's go. This method works for iPhone or iPad. I'm using iPad because it's easier to demonstrate. The first thing we need to do is go to Safari. If you don't know where your Safari is, it's installed by default. Just swipe down and type the word Safari and then tap on the icon. Safari allows you to download files from pretty much anywhere, your Google Drives, your Dropboxes, wherever you like. I'm going to use a website called freesound.org. It is, as it sounds like, a free sound downloading website. You do need to sign up. It is free to do so. But then you can search for sound. So let's say we wanted to download some funky drums. We'll go funky drum beat in the search there and hit enter. And that's going to go away and find some sounds. Now, just a little bit of music stuff here. I recommend selecting Creative Commons Zero here. That way you can make sure that you can use these sounds. They're not going to have any copyright. To preview one of these sounds, we can just tap on the play button here and it'll give us a little preview of the sound. That one sounds kind of cool. So what we can do is to download this, we tap on the file. It'll take us to the download page here. Now, every website's going to be slightly different, but usually you'll have a big download button or some sort of file name you can click on. Be careful. Sometimes there's little scammy websites that the download button actually takes you to a different website. Make sure it's the download button for that website. So we're going to tap download sound and you'll know it's working when you get this pop-up. If you get some other sort of pop-up, it's probably a dodgy link. So do you want to download this? We're going to hit the download button there and where you can see the download progress is up here in the top right. If we tap on that one, you can see the download progress. There you go. It's going to take just a couple of seconds depending on the speed of your connection. And once it's downloaded, it looks like that. To open that file, all we need to do is tap on it. And here we have the file. If you want to play it, we hit play. Tap again to pause there. Right from here, if you want to share this out to another app or use it right away, you'll notice you have access to your share sheet. So if we tap on that one, you can now send this straight out to another app, to your mail app, if you want to send it somewhere or to audio share, or you can save it to files. However, it is automatically saved to your default download location. What we now need to do is go over to the files app so I can show you where that is. To do that, we're just going to slide from the bottom up here. And I actually have it already open here, but if you don't, you can tap on the files app there or do the same thing we did before. This time, instead of typing Safari, type in files. If for whatever reason you've deleted the files app, go to the app store, type in files, download it, and you'll be addressed with this screen here where we've got our downloads. Now you'll notice that I actually have two different download folders here and I'll show you why and how that works in a moment. But by default, it's going to download into your downloads folder down here in the favorites. And that could either be on your device or on iCloud. I'll show you in a moment how to change that. But here's mine and here is that file that we've got. So now I can use this file. I can tap on it here just to open it up. I can do whatever I want with these drums. In fact, it was this one. And I can also move it and drag it and put it into another folder. Do with it what I like. Like. But where does it store these and how do you change that? Let's cover that now. This time we're going to go into the settings app. Once again, if you ever can't find anything, just come to your search, type it in and then tap it there. Now in the settings app, what we need to do is over here on the left, scroll down. You're not going to go too far down because we need to find Safari and it's in the apps here. But if you get to your own apps, you've gone too far. It's in this first section here. Tap on Safari and then over here on the right, there's a whole bunch of different options. The ones we're interested in is this, downloads. If we tap on this, then here is your default download location. So whenever you download a file in Safari, it's going to go to either your iCloud drive or your on my iPad location. Now, if you have this set to on my iPad or on my iPhone, it means that it will store those locally on your device and it won't back them up to the cloud. Now, if you're short on iCloud storage or you definitely only want your files to be on your device, you can choose that one. I recommend, of course, iCloud Drive. And by default, it puts it in this default downloads folder. But if like me, you want a little bit more control, you can actually change that. Here's how to do that. You'll notice underneath here, we have this other option. If we tap on other, we can actually direct this to save it wherever we like on any different location. So I'm going to go to iCloud Drive and I've actually created this folder, a downloads iOS folder. And this is where I download, funnily enough, my iOS files just to separate them out from my Mac and keep everything a little cleaner. So if we tap on open on that one, you'll notice here that that's now changed the default download location to downloads 
iOS. And for me, it just makes it a little cleaner because when I come back here to my files, then we've got this folder here for my iOS downloads separate to my regular downloads. Let's show you this process one more time because you can download any type of files, document files, audio files, whatever you like. We've hit the plus button there. This time I'm going to go to MIDI and I'm going to go to midiworld.com because I want to download some MIDI files. So let's do the same thing again. Let's just go, we'll, we'll stick with funky. We'll type funky in the search box there and find a funky. We've only got a couple of ones. We've got funky town, which we won't actually play on this, uh, this video, but we will show you how we download this. Once again, there's your download button. We'll tap on that one. This time it's going to open a separate page, but there is the thing we want to see. There's the download option. We're going to hit that download button. And just like last time, this time it's much quicker because MIDI files are very small. It's downloaded it right there to our location to show you where it puts it. We come back to our files and boom, like magic, it's right there. Now, of course, you can do things like create new folders, move your files around. There's a bunch of options here, but I just wanted to cover this because I get asked a lot, hey, how do I download files using my iPhone or my iPad? Now you know.